tell me I can't do it. Don't listen to the naysayers, especially when you're getting started. The sky is the limit. What different types of welding rods do I use and how many passes do I put on my gate hinges? Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be hanging another gate. Nothing fancy, just a pre-built, run-of-the-mill gate, but there's always something to learn when it comes to hanging gates and every situation's different and there's always, always room for improvement. No such thing as too much practice when it comes to doing one certain thing, in my opinion. I'm excited to let you know that the Pipe Fence course is now open for enrollment. It'll be open through March 29th. That's when enrollment will close. You can find the course at arosswelding.school. If you're having second thoughts or need some questions answered about the Pipe Fence course, you can text them to 405-643-7176 and we'll get you hooked up with whatever it is you may need. I'm less excited to let you know that we are not going to be making it to the Homesteading Expo. Unfortunately, we had a family emergency and we're not gonna be able to get everything done in time to, to make it to the Expo, but you should still go if you're in the area because I'm sure it's gonna be a lot of neat information, so go and have fun if you're in the area, but we are gonna be sad that we missed you. Do what? See, I can't haul that gate on this little trailer. Here's a hole for the gate. Made it so safely, softly. <laughs> Made it safely to the job. It's the next day. I put these clips on the other day and uh, went to hang the gate, but the gate that was here at the job was too short. So I picked up a 16 footer instead of a 14 footer on my way out here today and threw this piece of pipe on here with a tab to hold the gate back here and I bolted it to my little trailer here tab here and a tab here because very temporary I'm not looking to do this all the time I mean it works decent but I mean come on I mean, look at this, dangerous, don't have lights. I mean, it just, I gotta do something else here. So the plan is to put that water and pump on a skid. That way I can move it to a trailer or I can put it on this little tra trailer if I just need my welding truck and a water rig. But if I need the water tote and the pump and a gate, I'm gonna use my other trailer, but I'll be able to pick it up with my a-frame or a piece of equipment whenever i finally get one throw it on the trailer load the gate on the trailer and head to the job oh and can't forget about a little old fancy rack for the gate jacks <laughs> what a goober i like to call this growing pains you know i mean i just i need to build another bed and i need to build things for um, different things that I haul, like this water tote. But you know, I just don't have the time right now. So you just you just do what you do with what you got in the meantime. You know what I'm saying? Make progress, create income, get the income coming in, and work on the tweaks on the weekends and on the uh, rain days and whatnot. Come on, hello. So one of the main things that I like to do when hanging a gate is to look at how it's gonna open and make sure it ain't gonna drag the ground. So obviously we could open it this way and it wouldn't hit the ground because there's a ditch there, the ground's lower, but over here, if I'm standing right here, again, we're using our eyeball or what did some of y'all call it in the uh, comments, eyechrometer, eyechrometer, I like that. So you got your eyechrometer. And I stand here, and I can tell the ground's higher there, but it's right here, it looks close to level with where I'm at. But to get a more accurate look, I want to run over here to the road and look from back here. For one, it's lower back here, so I can get more accurate, you know, eye level with the, yeah. But it's still showing what I thought. It's pretty well level there and it's a little bit taller there. So 
so I really like the gate where it's at as far as how much it's off the ground there and back here but it would look a touch nicer if the top of the gate was in line with the top of the braces but since this isn't a main entrance this is just like another entrance to its property I would rather go with functionable over looking good and not functioning well so yeah I mean I just really hate to because to to get it down level I'm gonna be on the ground right there and I just I just can't I can't risk it for the biscuit so I think I'm gonna have to go with it there a couple more variables to consider when hanging gates is the dirt work or lay of the land and the height of your braces compared to the height of your gates that you're hanging on the braces in this particular situation i didn't set the brace and i didn't do the dirt work so i was just making this gate work with the situation i had but it's a good thing to keep in mind whether you're doing in my situation i could have told the customer hey i need some dirt work done if the gate absolutely would not have worked or if you're doing a whole project and you have control over the dirt work and the height of the braces keep all that in mind when you're putting together an entrance or a gate the whole the whole aspect so i hope that made sense i just wanted to touch on a couple more variables that i didn't talk about whenever i was out there on the project but i still need to go get a torpedo level throw a level on these braces and on the gate if you've been following, you know what do we do on gates and braces? Happy medium. The reason for that is because the earth moves. Uh, sometimes whenever you're setting braces, your, your, uh, your post might settle or whatnot if you're setting in concrete. Or you might hit a rock, so your brace may be in there not exactly plumb, which is what we got here. This post is leaning a bit this way and then pretty level that way and the only reason i'm checking the post i just want to know what to expect whenever i go to put my level on my gate saying this needs to come up down here down down there Ooh, try to get away from me see little rascal all the more reason to leave it up where it's at I had to come down over there but also want to check my top rail but with these pre-made gates depending on where you get them sometimes this tubing's thinner because you can't build them for this but there's a reason why they're so affordable and one of those reasons is because this is thin material well what comes with thin materials whenever you weld this it puts a little uh, warpage in this so if you get down into this gate you can see this top deal this top rail kind of does this number can't see it from the road it's not a big deal you can really only see it whenever you're right here get right here all that to say is if i put my level here it might show that this brace is down but if i put it here it might show the total opposite so i don't just want to go off of this because then my gate may be way up in the air or something so that's why i always recommend uh happy medium so here we're riding that line here we're riding that line so that's pretty decent but we're going to go down here check this do the same thing here we're riding that line and on the top we're riding that line but i actually like that because we want to allow for this thing to fall a little bit so i kind of like it where it's at stand back and look at it again and i need to go fire up the old welding machine roll out some welding leads
Okay, how I like it this way. The main thing that I like to focus on is making sure my gauge is level this way. Because if it's off this way, I mean, you really don't want that either, but if it is off this way, it should still hang here for the most part and not swing one way or the other. But if it's off this way, like say we're tilted this way, you tack it off, that's dramatic right here, but I mean, it's off just a little, and you tack it off and you let your gate jack off, the gate will fall open. And I just thought about it, but we've actually got a gate like this on our property um, that falls naturally. And that's not always a bad thing. If you, uh, it's kind of like an automatic gate opener, you know, you unchain it and just let it go and you know it's always gonna open that one direction. So, I better get one in the chamber here. I'll get it all just right. I won't even have nothing to tack it with. One in the chamber. Slide that out of my road. Once my gate is where I like it, I like to put some good tacks on both hinges and then let the gate jacks down and then do a test swing. I'm happy with the way the gate swings. I normally like to put a gate jack back up underneath the gate just to make sure it doesn't try to fall while I'm welding the hinges. The welding procedure or process that I used when hanging this gate was I put one pass in, like a small pass with 332, 70, 18, and I just stepped it up more or less just to put, give me something to, to weld to. And then I went back with a weave pass, which I did this number back and forth and paused on the edges and kind of stayed in my puddle to cap it, if you will. So I done that on, I made that exact procedure, the step up to put some metal in and then the weave, I done that one, two, three, four times on this gate. If your puddle falls out on you while you're welding uphill, chances are you're too hot, so I would turn your machine down a little bit. And then if it's wanting to ball up, like it's not wanting to stay flat, I would suggest turning it up a little bit and or moving a little bit slower, as in your travel speed, like don't go up as fast, go up slower, you know, while doing your motions. That's called travel speed. So those are a couple of pointers that I hope helps you. What about an undercut over here? and it'll be okay. That's a wrap. Got my gate hung. Very uneventful day, luckily. Didn't have to deal with any fires. Had my water rig on hand just in case. 
Don't forget to head on over to arosswelding.school to enroll in the pipe fence course. Also, if you're interested in the gate jacks that I used to hang this gate in today's video, you can find digital prints at arosswelding.com under shop and then under digital prints. Hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed having you. Thank you so much for watching and supporting what we do around here. And remember, learn something every day. We'll see you next week.